Well, hi there. Today I want to show you the 555 timer chip circuit from the internet. It's a uh, timer chip modulated on pin 5. It has a ferret antenna and I want to prove that it works. Now I connect it to here, to the audio source, and turn on the radio. And you can hear it works. That's what most people find out with this transmitter. But I had a better look at this, or better say closer look, and I take my multimeter, connect it to the transmitter, and you can see the frequency. I must say here that the multimeter often shows 1 kHz to less. So it's 1 kHz more, I guess. And now let's take another radio that has a digital frequency display. And you will see already, or see already, that is the exact frequency. I say 1 kHz more, so that is the frequency, and you can hear music, but it's very distorted. Okay, now let's take my transmitter that I built, and the same experiment. This is the same experiment. So, now let's measure the frequency. You can see it, that's the frequency. And now, tune in the same frequency on the radio. I have to do some adjustments, but here it is, 1 kHz more I said, that's the exact frequency, and the music is good, or better the sound is good. Wrong frequency, right frequency. So what I did is, I added two transistors, as mentioned before, and when you modulate the timer chip on pin 5, you probably get frequency modulation. But on the AM band, amplitude modulation is used, so the sound is only good if you do adjust the radio to the wrong frequency. Because you get some kind of AM band, I guess. Uh, and with my transmitter, we have amplitude modulation, and that's the modulation that is used in the AM band and when you tune it on the exact frequency you have good sound. Okay, um, that was my explanation of the 555 timer transmitter. I hope you liked this video. It would be cool if you rated it.